A large fire destroyed an industrial warehouse in Everett. It took crews hours to get this fire under control. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is at the scene where investigators are searching for the cause. All that's left is a shell of a building off into the distance. You can see pockets of smoke and the occasional visible flame as Everett firefighters continue to battle these hot spots. It's a stark contrast from the height of the firefight. Heavy fire on scene. All companies were in defensive mold. We weren't able to put anybody inside the building. The vacant warehouse was fully engulfed when crews arrived at around 10 Sunday night. The flames were so uncontrollable, engines from nearby Chelsea, Medford, Somerville, and others had to help pump water to the scene. They had a lot of void spaces. It was very difficult to get the, the, uh, the water on certain parts of the building. As you can see, it's still smoldering. There's nothing we can do. Again, we're not risking anybody's injury or any death. The industrial building has been empty for at least a year, but Everett Deputy Fire Chief Lawrence Cardinelli says their biggest concern was the air quality. It's just an old, very old building, and it had, again, the big timber, which probably had a lot of either like oil or other type of substance that was just embedded in all the wood. The warehouse, or what's left of it, continued to smolder as the sun came up. Chief Cardinelli says they're lucky no one had to be rescued. If anybody was in the building, there was absolutely nothing that we could have done. Once we were on scene again, the building was completely fully involved. National Grid did have to knock out power to the area so firefighters can safely do their jobs. Right now, an investigation is underway as to what sparked this fire. From Everett, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.